Jackrabbit's events module is designed for birthday parties, open houses, or other one-time events. Once you've added an event type, you may create event dates and times. Go to Events, List Event Types, and click the Event Type. Click the Add Event Date and Time button to add event dates for this event type. If you enter a date range, Jackrabbit will add an event date for each occurrence within the date range for the days of the week checkboxes you select. You may change the status field to hold to not allow registrations or display the event date on the event calendar. The unavailable status will display the event date with a beige highlight on your events calendar, but not allow for registration. The notice status is viewable in the calendar, but cannot be clicked on for registration, and you may choose whether to show notice events after the end date. The Allow Enrollment For field is set based on the setting for the event type and may be changed for specific event dates. Note that changing the Max Size field when adding the event date will override the Max Size on the Summary tab of the event type. Check the days of the week and if you wish, select an instructor. You can view the events for an event type on the Dates and Times tab. Click an event date to make changes to the event date summary or to view enrollment details, including responses to any event questions. On an event date and time page, you may also enroll an existing family or student, register a new family with the quick registration button, email those enrolled for the event date, or post event fees to those enrolled in the event date. If an event status is set to open, you will have the option to limit enrollment using a private invitation link. When invitation only event date is checked, the event date and time will be hidden on the external calendar. If at any point the event status is changed to anything other than open, the private invitation link will no longer allow enrollment in the event date and time. To delete an event date, click on the trash can icon or the delete multiple events button. Refer to our Help Center for more information on working with events.